All right, boys and girls, this is Mr. G once again doing a video here with you on exploring number patterns. Now, in previous videos, we've been talking about number patterns, being able to describe them, and being able to describe which patterns they are, identifying the patterns. So we had repeating patterns, which had part of the pattern needed to repeat itself. And the part that does repeat itself, we called that the core. A growing pattern is one that just got bigger, but in a predictable way, meaning if we added 4 to the first number to find out the second number, and then we add 4 to that number to get your next number, and kept adding 4 to get each number in our pattern, that's what we mean by predictable. And our last pattern, of course, is a shrinking pattern. And in that one, we would always subtract the same number to get the next number. So if we started with a 4, and we subtract 1, we get 3, subtract 1 again, so we always subtract the, the same number to get the next number in our pattern. Now this question is asking us to explain why this particular one is a growing pattern, but I've got a better question for you. Why is this not a repeating pattern? Numbers are repeating in there, so why is this not a repeating pattern, boys and girls? Remember what that was. The key thing for a repeating pattern to exist is that it has to have a core. It has to have a core. Now this, the threes repeat twice, the fours repeat three times, the fives repeat four times, and so on. But it does not a repeating pattern because it has no core. If the two, three, three kept repeating, so the next part of our pattern would be two, three, three again, then it would be a repeating pattern because it would have a core. So this one is a growing pattern, and why? Well, because, like we said, a growing pattern gets bigger in a predictable way. We can figure out what would come next. So let's do that together. So let's have a look. It starts off at two. We have one of those. Then we have two threes. Then we have three fours and four fives. So we notice it keeps going on to the next digit after it repeats a few times. So the next part of our pattern, boys and girls, what do you think the next number is going to be? It's going to be a 6 because we keep going up by 1, but how many of them are there going to be? We have 3 4s, 4 5s, and 5 6s. So we're going to put 5 of those down. There we go. That's the next part of our pattern. It's growing, so you have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the next would be, of course, 7. But our pattern is, if we have 5 6s, how many 7s would we have? 6 of them. So 2... Three, four, five, six. And boys and girls, this pattern can go on and on and on, but that would be the next part. So if we look, our pattern grows, okay, and it repeats itself just in a sense And how many fives we have, six, we have sevens, but there is no core, so it's not a repeating pattern. Okay, now complete each pattern and which patterns have a core. So which patterns repeat themselves? So let's have a look here. Our first one is 15... 24, 33, 42, then there's a blank, 60, and 69. So it is a growing pattern, that's right, because the numbers are going up, it's getting bigger. And in a predictable way, what are we doing to this pattern so we can find out our next number? From 15 to 24, what did we have to do to get to 24 from 15? We have to add 9. That's right. Let's see if that happens again. From 24 to 33, we had to add how much? 9 again. 33 to 42, we added 9 again. So let's add 42 plus 9 gives us 51. Good. And then 51 plus 9, what does that give us? 60. That's right, boys and girls. So, as you you can figure out that that was our pattern. We added 9 each time to find out the next number, and you know 51 is correct. Let's go on to the next one here. 54, 47, blank, 33, 26, 19, and 12. So is this a growing pattern? No. It goes down, so it's a shrinking pattern. Now, does it shrink in a predictable way? What did we have to do from 54 to 47? We had to subtract 7. So let's try doing that from 47 to get our unknown number. We subtract 7. That gives us 40. 
If we subtract 7 from 40, what do we get? 33. 33 minus 7. 26. And so on. So boys and girls, this is a shrinking pattern that starts at 54 and you subtract 7 each time. Remember your pattern rules, being able to describe it. Now one more to go, boys and girls. We have 4, 2, 6. 4, 2, 6. 4, blank, 6. Growing pattern or shrinking pattern? What's that? It is a repeating pattern. Why? What is the core? If this is a repeating pattern, what's our core? That's right. The core is 4, 2, and 6 because that is always repeating itself. Okay, boys and girls, let me just get that there. Well, there we go. So 4, 2, and 6 repeats. 4, 2, and 6. So we now know it repeats itself. That makes this easy to fill out. It's a number 2, and that's what your patterns look like. So boys and girls, this question here, we dealt with a growing pattern, a shrinking pattern, and a repeating pattern, and identified the core. So well done boys and girls. If there's any other questions, there are more videos on exploring number patterns. I hope you stick around. Come back again. This is Mr. G signing out. We'll see you soon.